you can download OpenBB from here. You click on, on Install Terminal. You can install Windows or Mac, or you can use Linux as well, although the installation process is different. Okay, I installed OpenBB Terminal, and I'll load it. So there are basically just two commands that you need to get used to to run OpenBB or to navigate it. H is for help, and that's to get a list of the appropriate commands, and Q to move one level up in the command structure. So let, let me explain that. So I just opened up OpenBB, and I see that these are the current list of options. So now if I type stocks, if I choose stocks, so I type stocks. So now I have a new list of options that are uh, relevant to stocks. So I can get the trading hours, I can get options, I can get various features, or I can access various features of OpenBB, and then I can choose one of them. Now, in particular, when we're doing stocks, you have to do this one first. You have to load a particular ticker, for example, Apple or Amazon or whatever you're going to do. You can also use search, which I guess is a little bit different than load. I'm not really experienced with search, but you can do load and AAPL for Apple. And then once you do that, then you can go back and run some of these commands. Now, if for some reason you don't see this this uh, list of commands or you want to see it again, that's when you type H. You just type H, and you can see the list of the relevant commands. And now, if I want to go back up one level, so I'm currently in stocks, but I want to go back to the original menu, then I just type Q and Enter. And now I'm back to the original, and if you want to make sure of that, just type H and you'll see the original menu. So you can see that now you can go back and choose stocks again or choose from the other. So really, there are only two basic commands that you need to be aware of, uh, the H and the Q. So H is to get help or to see the list of the commands, and Q to move one level up in the command structure. And for the purposes of this video, I think I can change the size of the font to, let's see what that does, maybe even that, okay, maybe that's too big, but we can do stocks, seems like when I scroll up I lose some of that, H again, okay, so we can see that we have these options here, so I'll start by exploring stocks, it's one of the options, so you type stocks, you can, I can actually hit tab here, and we'll fill it in and then enter. And then if I check some of the uh, options here. You can get trading hours, option menus, and these things. But typically first we want to um, load a stock or s search a specific stock ticker for analysis. Um, so let's load, load. So again, I can hit the tab and then I'll try Apple, A-A-P-L. Okay, and we get some information here. And then if I want to know what further things I can do at this point, again, I just type H for help and return. And so I see that there are a number of options here. So one thing I can get is a quote, uh, view the current price. I think we already saw that, but we could try it again, quote, Okay, and then we can see some of the information. Uh, then again, what else can we do? I'll type H again. And uh, we can get a, a graph, a candle chart. Let's try that. I'll just hit tab again, enter. And we get a graph, and this extends back to 2019. And then if you want to zoom in, say on this area here, you can click this and try something like that. And then you get, uh, you're able to zoom in. I'm not quite sure how you go back, maybe here. So yeah, you can go back by clicking here, you can get the original. And you, I presume you can zoom on, zoom in on any particular um, part of the graph.
Okay, I'll close out this. And here we see some other options. Uh, discover trending stocks. Maybe these are related to uh, Apple. So when we uh, type in that, then hit H again, and we get we can see what we can do from this point. So after typing in discover, so we can try gainers. And I'm not sure if these are related to Apple or not. It doesn't look like it. Um, so these are some of the, I guess, the recent gainers. If we try H again, see what else we can do. And see that there's other uh, customized news, low float stocks. Maybe some of this is related to Apple and some of it is not. Uh, G -tech, uh, G -tech, tech stocks with revenue and earnings growth more than 25%. Let's try that. Let's type Q to go up one level. Okay, now we've gone up from discovery back to the stocks. And then if we don't remember what we can do at this point, we can type in H. And here we have the options at this level. In other words, the options for stocks. Let's type SIA. And then let's uh, companies per country based on this sector. Now I believe where this sector is the Apple sector, so it should be the tech sector. So let's uh, try CPCS. So we get this. So I guess this is uh, um, the largest tech countries. So United States, Netherlands, and Taiwan related to the Apple tech. Okay, let's close that. Okay, let's try something having to do with crypto. So let's go back to the main menu. So we quit. That takes us out of the SIA. Then we can quit again. That takes us out of stocks. Then we can type H to see what the options are. We can see that one is crypto. So let's type crypto. Hit enter. Let's see what the options are. I guess these are the options. Um, so we can load a specific crypto uh, currency. Uh, discover trending currencies. Let's see if that works here. Mm, no, maybe we have to. Uh, let's see, maybe we can type here. Top coins, trending coins, top gainers, top losers. Okay, so let's see, uh, maybe this one, CGT, CGT, and then I can hit tab and hit enter. Okay, so these are the top trending coins on CoinGecko. So this one, this one, this one, I don't know anything about crypto, but uh, market cap rank. So this is a uh, I don't know exactly what that means. Okay, let's uh, let's type H again. See what else we can find out. Top losers. Let's try that. C G L tab, and we have these. Dodge coin. So drop by this amount. Bitcoin drop by this amount. Today is the uh, 23rd of June, by the way, and so on. You can also see their market cap and their price. So Bitcoin has dropped a lot in the last uh, few weeks. Okay, let's try typing Q. And now we are at crypto and let's try loading. And BTC for Bitcoin. Okay, and here we have, uh, according to this, one day drop was 10%. Seven day drop was 
one month drop was 57. I'm not sure what this means. Okay. Okay, let's uh, see what we can explore in the economy. So let's go Q and let's see that the options. So we see one of them is economy besides stock and crypto. Let's try that. We see up here there are various options. Macro, collect macro data for a country or countries. FRED, collect data from the FRED ba uh, database. Index, find and plot any major index. Treasury, U.S. Treasury rates, and so on. Let's try overview. Shows a market overview of either indices, bonds, or currencies. Okay, and I'll try OV, and then tab, and enter. Okay, so this is the overview information. Dow Jones Industrial Average, S&P, NASDAQ Composite, Japan Nikkei, UK FTSE, crude oil futures, gold futures, yen, euro. And we get uh, the change and the percentage change. It's all negative. Okay, let's do Q again. Quit. Go up the next level. So now we're, uh, let's do H to see what we can do again. So we have the same stocks, crypto, we did an economy. Let's try alternative data sets, such as COVID data and open source metrics. So let's, let's try that. Alternative, tab, enter. And we have COVID and OSS. Let's try COVID. And then we can get um, slopes, con select country for data, OV, get an overview, deaths, cases, rates. Now maybe slopes means the rate of change. I'm not really sure, but let's just see what kind of information we get there. So this is highest sloping cases per day. I guess it's cases per day. That's what they mean by slope. So the U.S. has 104,000. Taiwan has 69,000. Germany and so on. Okay, let's go back. Uh, so type Q to go back. And Q again to go back. And let's try doing some exporting of data. So I'll try stocks and I'll try uh, one of these is fundamental analysis. So that gives you the income st statements, balance sheets, cash earnings. I think we still have Apple loaded. So uh, let's try that. FA, FA, enter. Hmm. Okay, I can't seem to get that to work. I reinstalled it, in fact, and it still doesn't work. Uh, it, someone reported it as a bug, but supposedly if you reinstalled with the latest version, that would disappear, but I, it didn't disappear. But anyway, here's what would happen. You would type FA, and then you could type um, DCF, and you would get this. So you could export it to an Excel file, and you get this kind of information about the company. So hopefully when you run it, you won't run into the same bug, but uh, you might have to reinstall it or look out for some, uh, do some searching to find out what's wrong, or hopefully they'll just fix it. Okay, let's uh, try this again. Stocks, load, H for help. We see that we can do predictions, also quantitative analysis, technical analysis, and so on. Let's try predictions. Let's try um, PRED. 
and then we have uh, different choices. So let's try um, a deep learning model, uh, such as the recurrent neural network. Let's try that, R RNN. Takes a while to train it, and then we have the model. So you can see that the predictions are in red, the forecast over is over here, um, and the real data is in yellow. And again, I guess we can expand it out to see what the predictions are. You can see that the model is not perfect. For example, it's, it's under uh, predicting the real um, price around here. But let's see if we can expand this. So I'll click here and try. Do I have to do it like, like this maybe? Okay. So it's just predicting uh, maybe slightly down from now. Okay, let's uh, close this out. Let's um, see what other predictions we can do. We could try um, ARIMA. Let's see what that gives us. Okay, so this is the ARIMA prediction. Looks like it's going to be flat going out into the future. There are various parameters that you can set in ARIMA and I suppose in all the other uh, models as well which might um, change the predictions. Okay, let's close this. You can see that the predictions are flat. In other words, what's going to happen tomorrow, the next day, the next day, it's always the same.